potential targets for the ATA CMS missile system in Crimea have been revealed. The main targets for ATA CMS ballistic missiles in the temporarily occupied Crimea are Russian air defense and airfields, according to Defense Express. Recall, on April the 30th, the Ukrainian Defense Forces attacked Russian positions in the temporarily occupied Crimea. This is evidenced by the whining of the Russians. In particular, the sounds of explosions were reported in Yevpatoria, Zankoy, Simferopol, Vadiysky, Krasnoperekopsk districts. According to the agency, there is also unconfirmed information that the attack was a combined one. In addition to ballistic missiles, long-range drones were used against the Russian troops. In particular, despite Russia's statements about the possibility of intercepting missiles with its S-400, the reality is that a terrorist anti-aircraft missile system was destroyed in Zankoy. In addition to this, on April the 28th, there was information about another ATA CMS strike on the positions of the Russian air defense system on Cape Tarkankut. According to Russian unofficial sources, the attack was also successful and resulted in the destruction of allegedly only four launchers, Defense Express adds. The agency is convinced that on the night of April the 30th, the attack was also carried out against the Russian air defense positions. ATA CMS is probably being used to destroy Russia's air defense on the peninsula as well as to create gaps in the areas of electronic stations observation and the possibility of effective use of cruise missiles and drones. That's why ATA CMS prioritizes long-range SAM positions as a primary target as well as airfields and it was created for this very purpose. The agency notes, head of the Pentagon Lloyd Austin said that the United States will provide Ukraine with as many ATA CMS missiles as they can. Austin was asked if the United States plans additional supplies of long-range ATA CMS missiles beyond the recently adopted aid package worth over $60 billion. Austin stated that the US will provide as many opportunities as they can. He also added that Ukraine has already received ATA CMS. According to reports in the media, back in February, US President Joe Biden allegedly agreed to provide Ukraine with over 100 larger range ATA CMS missiles.